Aloha, my name is Sunny Savage of Savage Kitchen. Coming at you on a blustery day from the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. Now, this is Hawaii's Invasive Species Awareness Week. And in honor of that, I am covering a few different plants each day. So be sure to do a little search on uh, YouTube and you'll find some other videos that I've done this week. Um, today I'm covering New Zealand spinach and it is a delicious invasive. Um, it's not really on the targeted mega hit list of some of the agencies on the island, but it is categorized as an invasive. Now this plant grows along the seashore, so it's a great plant to keep your eyes out for when you're at the beach. But it also grows up in high elevations. So really a great plant to get to know. It's called again New Zealand spinach. Another name is Warrigal Greens. And even though I've harvested this whole stem, um, you are just basically eating the leaves. So you can keep the plant where it is, or if you're trying to remove it, remove the whole thing. And you're just going to be plucking off the leaves. So really, the bigger, the better with the leaves. As long as they look vibrant and healthy, pick them off and then um, bring them home, wash them up. And the really key part of this is to cook them. Not because they're toxic in any way, but they really taste much, much more delicious after you boil a little bit of water, place the greens in there for just a minute or two, remove them, strain off the water. Sometimes you can even squeeze it off. Now I've had so many people tell me, oh, Sunny, I tried that thing, it was so nasty. And I was like, did you cook it? And they were like, no, I didn't cook it. So that really is the trick. And I find that I actually enjoy this more than a cultivated spinach. It has a little bit more thickness to it. So it actually um, just has a little more bulk. Um, you get a little bit more you get a little bit more <laughs> and so you can feel free to add it to whatever you're cooking after it has been um, lightly boiled so um, I just also wanted to let you all know that I have my little food truck savage kitchen here on Maui and we serve up invasive species right now it is temporarily closed contract for a permanent location for it um, and then this coming fall uh, keep your eyes out because this is savage kitchen mobile app is going to become available and I am so excited about this project um, it is covering five edible invasives that are found on all of our islands and it's an interactive program that helps you locate them, photos for identification, recipes, and other high quality content. So I'm really excited and um, I think that this is just, it's such a joy to be able to be outside and then have this bonus of having an eye for uh, plants. And then when they're invasive on top of that, it's like, yeah, life is good. Um, when today is the first of March and so this was the first time that the sirens uh, our emergency sirens uh, were tested today after our ballistic missile threat and scare here in the islands and so it really kind of hit me right to the gut on how important this work is to empower people to feel food secure that no matter what type of emergency situation comes along that you have the knowledge and the awareness and the understanding and um, the ability to identify and locate foods that are found growing abundantly 
in our ecosystems. So this is part of not only finding great joy in doing something like this, but it is also part of a strategy to release some fear, to release some anxieties about your own preparedness. Because we all understand that global climate change is going to be bringing us situations um, where our food system might be compromised in some way, uh, as well as events like our ballistic missile threat that we had here in Hawaii. So stay realistic, don't live in fear, but be prepared because we know change is coming and uh, these plants are here to support and walk with us on that journey. So aloha, much love to you all.